Hello everyone, welcome to Harry B's Creative Minds channel and today I'm going to be talking about the top five basic editing tips in Photoshop and without further ado we're going to jump straight into it. The first step that I'm going to show you is how to blur an image easily in Photoshop. I'm going to show my screen. Here's my copy of Photoshop. I'm going to close all these images, start at the beginning, file, open. Open my image. And then you want to go to filter. And under filter, you can see quite a few blur options. It goes ranges all the way from average to surface blur. And the one you want is the Gaussian blur. Click on that. If you move further to the left, blurs less, further to the right, it blurs more. Then you click on OK. And that is how you blur an image in Photoshop. And if you want to undo that, go to Edit and go to Undo Gaussian Blur. So now you're back to your original image. Top tip number two is going to be how to crop an image using the Rectangle Select Marquee tool in Photoshop. You want to move all the way to the left, which is this tool here. It says Rectangular Marquee Tool. And then you want to select the part of the image that you want to crop. Move all the way with your cursor from left to right. Hold down the button on the left, on the right, and then you select the image. Then go to Image, and then click on Crop. And that's how you crop your image in Photoshop. Uh, if you want to undo that, go to Edit, go to Undo Select, then go to Undo Crop, and then press down on the cursor, and the Select tool will disappear. The third step that I'm going to share with you is how to change a background in Photoshop. So we have this image as our main image, and what we want is we want to place our background image on top of this main image. To do that, we'll go to File, go to Open, and we click on our background image. Actually, you don't click on Open, you do File, and you go to Place Embedded. Click on the image, click on Place, and that will place the image on top of this main image. And you want to use these select tools to expand the image so it's directly over the main image. Right, and once you've done that, you click on the tick box here. Then you want to unlock the images and rename them so they make sense. So I've double clicked on the padlock, which you saw, and that's made the image uh, unlocked. And then where we've got layer zero, I'm going to double click on that and rename it to man. So it's quite clear which images we're using. Going to the second top image, double click on that, change it to background. Uh, next, you want the man to be at the top and you want the background to be at the uh, bottom. So try and move that by holding it down. You can see the man's at the top and the background is at the bottom. So the next thing we want to do is we want to blend the images. And to do that, we want to go to select. And then you want to go down to select and mask. And what that does, it helps to blend the two images. I'll just move that away. And as you can see from the image, you can see the image is, is blended. To have a very good blend in terms of background and the man that you see here, you need to change the transparency to 50%. Click on Enter. And that's a good transparency. And then finally, what you want to do to blend the images properly is you will finally want to click on select subject. Click on select subject and that will convert 
to blend nicely, as you will see shortly. It's taking some time. It's quite a powerful AI working in the background, um, which is doing that conversion. Wow. Now you can see the image, looks, which looks really nice. You've got the man with the mouth open with his blue shirt. You can play around with the transparency a bit, as you can see from the background. And um, you can make it more transparent, move it to the right, move it to the left for, for less or more. Um, and yeah, it looks, this is really good. You've taken away the um, old background and now you have a new background. And that's my step number uh, three. Step number four is how to resize an image in Photoshop. I'm going to close this, don't accept. No, I'm going to start from the beginning, go for file, go to open, use the main image. It's a very simple step. You go to image, then you go to image size, and then you delete where it's got the pixels width. As you can see, it's got a tick box of resample. What that does is it just um, resizes the height. So for this, I'm gonna put something like 900, and that will be the height will automatically convert to 600. It's because it's ticked to re a resample. And then you've got the pixels as well. And then click on okay. And if I then, it's resized the image as you can see, and if I then go to view and see actual size, it will show you the image, the actual size of the image. And that is how you resize an image in Photoshop. And that's step number four. Step number five is going to be how you can convert an image into a frame in um, Photoshop. So here you go to file, start again, go to open. Open up our Shutterstock image, which you're all used to by now. Go to open. And what we're going to do is we're going to move the cursor down and select the re rectangle tool. Select the tool. We already have a, of a pre filled color, which is what we're going to use. So let's just change that to something else. Change it to red. So that's our pre filled color. Um, and then we're also going to look at the stroke. That's at 40. We're going to increase that to 67. And then we're going to look at the width as well. We'll increase that to, you know, to 20. And then the height maybe to 20 as well. Frame, and then what we will do now is we will select the image with the select tool, and the select tool is this one on the uh, on the left, which is the rectangle select tool, which was already previously selected, and you can see there's a frame around it. Then you want to go to Windows. And then you want to go to layers so you can see your image. Same as previously, you want to unlock the image, move the main image to the top. And then now you have your um, uh, background image, click on the, the background image. And then finally, what you want to do is you want to convert it to frame, so select the bottom image and then go all the way to convert to frame. And what that will do, it will convert the image that you've selected into a frame and take away everything else. Click on OK. That's the name of your new frame. 
it's going to progress it. And you can see the image is now in a frame, and this is how you convert an image into a frame in Photoshop. If you like all these top tips, please give me your comments. Please subscribe to my channel. Please let me know what else you'd like to see on uh, my channel. Um, this is about knowledge sharing. I hope you've enjoyed um, watching this video, and I hope it's giving you some knowledge of how to uh, edit um, images, or at least the top five images, top five tips in uh, Photoshop. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. Bye.